Work is completed on one of two needed bridges on the San Jose Bypass Road in Toledo. Inhabitants, especially in the villages of San Jose and Santa Cruz, Toledo, and other neighboring communities, have been longing for over 10 years for the completion of two bridges to make the San Jose Bypass Road possible to vehicular traffic. The San Jose Bypass Road is not only very much needed and helpful to members of Toledo Cacao Growers Association, but also to all other farmers who need access to their farmland along the pathway of the road and other villagers who can benefit and need to travel through a much shorter distance by road to Maine, Punta Gorda, Halakte Highway. Among those appreciative of work done to complete needed bridges on the bypass roadway is Chairman of Toledo Cacao Growers Association, Hostino Peck of San Jose, who spoke to Love News. As a resident of San Jose Village and Chairman of the Toledo Cacao Growers Association, it became a great concern for me regarding the completion of the two bridges at the bypass between Santa Cruz and San Jose. As a result of that, during the visit of the newly elected leader, Honorable Patrick Faber, I've taken the initiative of writing to him on behalf of my community, copied it to Dr. Simeon Cook, who is the standard bearer for the United Democratic Party. Uh, that was on the 24th of July, 2020. And today we can see the reality and the responses of those people. And the concern department responsible for road construction, um, we were able to see the results. And we have now seen the completion of the first bridge on the bypass. And this week, uh, this week, the ending of this week, we will be having some materials being delivered at the second bridge to complete the two bridges on that bypass. We are very much thankful for the people who are concerned and um, the, 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 the people who are concerned and, and, and that these two bridges will be complete before the ending of this year. Um, I have taken that initiative because as the chair of TCJ, we have been buying cacao from that community. And this year's crop year, we have been able to purchase, along with Maya Mountain and Toledo Cacao Growers Association, 300,000 plus pounds of wet cacao beans from that area, which generates uh, income to improve the econ economical standard of living for that community. And as well as having access to, uh, to the direct um, highway in terms of health and in terms of other uh, be benefits for the community, we were able to see the results today. And it's not only San Jose that will benefit from that road construction on that bridge completion, but also the community of Santa Cruz on a whole will also be benefiting because in terms of flooding, the people of Santa Cruz going to their farm will not have any more problem. So with this in mind, I want to thank the people who push as a team effort to make this a reality and we were quite happy and I hope that the people of Santa Cruz and San Jose will appreciate the, the, the work and the negotiation of Dr. Um, Simeon Koch and his team. Peck commented that the new bypass road connecting San Jose to Santa Cruz is a major shortcut pathway of 2.4 miles compared to 9 miles of bad road condition from San Jose to the junction with Maine, Punta Gorda, San Antonio Road. Paul Mahong, Love News, Toledo.